Have you left home yet? It's a good question. Many of us certainly leave home geographically, sometimes living and working in different countries far away from home. But that doesn't necessarily mean we've moved at all. We can travel around the world without changing our basic position one centimeter. Home is not so much a place as a way of life. Home is habits, beliefs, prejudices, fixed ways of thinking and doing. If we want God to work on and in us, then we have to leave home and go on pilgrimage with Him. There is no other way but out into the unknown. That's what Abraham did, and his traumatic experience was not in swapping one piece of desert for another, but in leaving the safety of a local God and moving into the vastness of the experience of a universal God. The only way to freedom is to allow the chains to be broken, the habits, the refusal to consider other ways. Freedom is for the brave, and it's the timid, defensive Christian who refuses new experiences and thought and clings to home. I've known missionaries who've worked in a country for 20 years, but who have never really lived there and never become a real part of the local community because they cannot open themselves to new ideas or thoughts. The way we walk with Jesus isn't geographical. It is a totally new lifestyle, a new way of being. This is the point for all of us. In Christian terms, it isn't the expertise we bring, the way we do the job or handle people, important as these are, but whether the living Christ is within us. That's what people need to see in us. A new creation, a new being. Men and women freed from fear, suspicion, prejudice. Liberated from home to be explorers. Travelling joyfully and freely. Lord, I thank you for home. For all those I love and for those who love me. For family and friends, for community and fellow workers for all in life that strengthens me and helps me face people with confidence. Yet sometimes, Lord, I cling to these things too much. My life gets cluttered up with custom and repetition. I hold hard on habit. It's easier to do things the same old way. I practice religion, not faith. My attitudes are formed more by prejudice than understanding. It's comfortable. I don't have to think. But you call me to more than that. Jesus stands at the door knocking to come in, yes, but also asking me to come out. Holding open a door to new horizons. Unknown, limited only by my courage. Showing me the kingdoms of his world offering the joy of pilgrimage, of walking out free with him. Liberation from fear, from all the anxieties and suspicions which hem my life around and breed new fears. Liberation because he is with me wherever I go. Freedom not from responsibility and obligation, but freedom from self. Freedom from all that holds me back from giving my love, myself, to others. The road stretches out, and as I take one step and two, the road moves on. No end in sight, just new horizons. But you are there, taking the steps as I take them, sharing the adventure. Lord, it's risky. There's so much space. But the real shelter is not in the walls I build, it's in you.